as you can see, the the best the best that the New York Giants could do was was a was a goose egg. It was a goose egg. That's the best we can do. Forty to nothing. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Forty to nothing. Forty to nothing. That's what happened today. Forty to nothing. The New York Giants lose. In a home game, pardon the squeaking of the chair. The New York Giants lose a home game against the Dallas Cowboys, 40 to nothing. You can even hear the sirens in the background. They're going to pick bodies up because that's what happened. Bodies, man. We got bodied by the Dallas Cowboys, man. Um, They made a lie out of me. The New York Giants made a lie out of me. Let me try to fix my light a little bit. Let me go ahead and get my light right just a little bit so I can stop going in and out. They made a lie out of me. So eat like even with all the you know dads, I talk my talk, this, that, and the third. Even that, even that doesn't really matter because the way the way we got whooped tonight, I don't even know if Dallas Cowboys fans even feel good about rubbing it in. Like it was a butt whooping that bad. I was in the spaces pretty much the whole time. Um, arguing a little bit with my own fan base, especially when we started the game. First quarter was 19 to nothing. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. You come out, you drive right down right down the field on the Dallas Cowboys, right down the field. Made it look easy. Drive right down the field. I didn't even sit down. That first drive, I didn't even sit down. Next thing I know, flag hold on 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 Andrew Thomas. After that, you got the long snap or the the, the dodgy snap goes right past Daniel Jones. We lose about eleven yards. It's like four for nineteen. You go okay. At least we're gonna get three because it's Graham Gano. Graham Gano is automatic. Graham Gano is automatic. But no, what happens? Dallas slips through, blocks the field goal. But not only did they block the field goal, they scooped and ran down the field for like 70, 65 yards, 70 yards for the touchdown. And that's how we start the game in the 6 nothing because they did mix, miss their extra point. So I'm like, okay, I can handle that. I can handle that. Okay, we went right down the field on them, you know, they were able to get the turnover, scoop and score off the block field goal. Let's go back out there and let's move the ball down the field again and let's try to do some. But no, that's not what happened. What happened? Three and out on the next drive. You know, and then I look up again. Saquon Barkley catches the pass, gets hit, pops up in the air. I can't even remember who on the Dallas Cowboys did it, but he grabbed it. And then there's another touchdown. And I'm just sitting here like, yo, what the hell is going on, man? What is going on right now? And everything that could go wrong went wrong. The way I was talking about this team, I was saying, yeah, you know, our defense, Dallas, Dallas's offensive line is injured. They're hobbled. Kayvon Thibodeau can get three sacks. None of that happened. None of that happened. Instead of that happening for us, That, what Dallas in the night with? 10 sacks, I think. I don't even know. I got to look up. Listen, it was ugly. It was ugly. And um, whatever you got to say, say it. Because I'm already mad enough thinking about how we lost. Like, I can't even worry about the trash talk from the other fan base because I'm still trying to figure out what I just watched. What did I just watch? Outside of a butt whooping, like, outside of that, like, what did I just watch? An offensive line that could not protect their quarterback. Um, a quarterback that could not, you know, find his receivers. Um, I would say he was rattled early. Especially that one interception to, to Stephon Gilmore. He's just throwing it up, trying to make a play on his way out, you know, out of bounds. And, you know, Gilmore gets it off the blade of grass, man off a blade of grass and i'm just sitting here like all right so now 19 to nothing 
Defense, you know, looked pretty good. They did force, you know, you know them to get three points. There was a couple possessions like that. The the defense, luckily, luckily, the defense was able to hold the Dallas Cowboys to three points because if they didn't, instead of it being like forty to nothing. The Dallas Cowboys probably could have set a record. And I don't even know if it was a record or not. They could have scored, what, three of those? Were, what's that? 12? That's another 12 points. So I'm like, you know what? No, I'm sorry. That's another. That's another 18 points. And that that's just a ridiculous number. Now you're talking about 58 to nothing, almost 60 points with, with, the, with the extra points. Yo, it was bad. It was really bad. And I got a lot to say about the offensive line. Again, we started off strong, but that was so long ago that people even, we, everybody forgets about that first drive. Right down the field. Short game, Daniel Jones scrambling. It was looking good. It was looking real good. And then the rain happened. And not 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 just the rain from the storm. I'm just talking about the rain. The rain of the Cowboys happened, and you and you. It's almost like it's almost like a boxer that gets knocked out, like knocked out cold, and they wake you up, and you don't know what the hell happened, but you know you lost. That's what happened. That's how I feel. I feel like I got knocked out. Woke up. It was 19 to nothing, and then. I'm at, at halftime. I'm sitting here like, all right, now the game is what it is. It's 26 nothing. It's halftime. I said, is this going to be the team that loses 40 to nothing? I said that at halftime, or are we going to see some type of fight coming in at the second half? That's going to tell me about this team and what happened. What's going on with this team, man? What is going on with this team? I've been talking about everything that I wanted to see, the high expectations. I couldn't even get a chance to see that. Darren Waller, I didn't even get a chance to see that. And I'm glad they showed the graphic. They put up the graphic on Sunday Night Football about how much time, the contrast about how much time Daniel Jones had in the, in the pocket and then how much time Dak Prescott was getting. So I'm looking at my defensive line like, okay, Wait, wait, where are you, Leonard Williams? Where are you, Dexter Lawrence? Where are you, Kayvon Thibodeau? Where are you, Aziz Ojolari? Where, where are you guys? Where are you guys? And I'm like, that's 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 just crazy. It's crazy. Kayvon Thibodeau, nothing. Did he get a pressure? I don't even know. I can't wait to see the box score. PFF, I can't wait to see the box score. I'm looking around and I'm sitting there. I'm sick right now. I am absolutely sick right now. 40 to nothing to the Dallas Cowboys. And let me tell you this about the Dallas Cowboys, though. They look pretty damn good. The Dallas Cowboys look pretty damn good. And listen, it is what it is. They look good. They look good. Like they look good on paper and then they look good on the field today. They look good today. Great, fantastic actually. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I will say this though too. Again, whatever you got to say, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. It is what it is. It, you know, I'm I talk, listen, you guys got it. You got it. I'm going to calm down. I'm going to sit back for another day. Then come Tuesday, I'm going to be back to talking the way that I'll be talking because we got the Cardinals next week. Now, if we look bad against the Cardinals, then that panic button might get hit. It might get hit, but right now, I'm cool. I'm cool. It's a butt whooping. And you know what? I will say this, though. That blowout loss feels better than, like, one of those buzzer beater type loss. Like, if it would have been tight, if it would have been tight and then the Giants just lost in the fourth quarter, I probably would have been a little bit more upset or that feeling in my stomach. I probably would have been a lot more sick. I'm actually not doing too bad right now. I had, I, you figure at, at halftime, I knew what the story was. And then 
I, I guess I had enough time to pretty much realize what I was going to be dealing with. And it is what it is now. The Giants lose 40 to nothing to the Dallas Cowboys in a massive, massive butt whooping. And if I'm Brian Dable, I'm not going to yell at these guys. There's no need to yell. They see the score. They're walking off the field. You know what? You know what the players saw when they left the field today? They saw empty stands. That's what they saw. They saw they heard boos. And then they saw empty stands. And then now they got to walk. The people that they do select got to walk to the podium and answer the reporters' questions. That's the coaches, or Dable, I should say. That's some of the players who need to comment. And um, yeah. Yeah. I did not expect this at all. Not at all. I had high expectations. I did have us winning 28 to 20. And we have a goose egg. The best that we could do was a goose egg against the Dallas Cowboys home opener. Home opener. What a difference a couple of hours make. Four hours ago, I was on top of the world on cloud nine, feeling very, very, very good. Here we are four hours later, not really three hours, three and a half hours later. And I think I should feel worse than what I feel right now. I'm upset, but I'm more angry than upset. I'm a little sick. And for me, there are some changes that I want to happen. I'm not going to go super crazy. There are some things I want to see. There's just going to be some criticism that's going to be going around throughout the Giants fan base. A lot of it's going to be very fair. And I can't do anything about that. And I don't want to do anything about that. There's no dodging any smoke here. It's going to be a lot of talk. It's not going to last long, but it's going to be a lot of talk and it's going to last, you know, especially tonight. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going I'm to I'm end this video. I'm going to go back on Twitter and I'm going to take my medicine. I'm going to take my medicine in these spaces. And I'm going to leave it at that. But I, again, I want to thank you guys for vibing with me. Please like, comment and subscribe. And from one Giants fan to another, we're going to be all right. What Kendrick Lamar said, we gonna be all we gonna be all right, fellas. Giants Nation, we're gonna be all right. Let's go. <laughs>